Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I wanted to do a what's in my bag for 2022. And yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, my case, everything that I take to a shoot. And with this video, I wanted to show you two different setups. They're really similar, but um, the project I'm shooting this week is a project with a local musician. And so there's not a lot of audio capture that I'm going to be doing because there's someone else on site for that. And so my kit is going to be tailored a little bit more towards just video, um, but I still do shoot about 10 weddings a year. And so I wanted to show you guys um, my wedding setup as well, how I pack everything into this case um, that includes, you know, two cameras and my Super 8 camera. So the case that I've chosen to go with is the Harbor Freight Apache um, 5800. This is a case right around $100 that is super similar to the Pelican 1510 or I think there's a few other variations out there, but it's carry-on size. I went ahead and purchased the added foam dividers. I think the case normally comes with the pull and pluck foam and um, these padded dividers help me customize things a little bit more as my kit changes. So yeah, I would encourage you guys to check out this case if you have a Harbor Freight near you. Um, I've had it for years, has held up super well, um, has the rolling wheels along with the handle, and it is watertight and airtight as well. So um, yeah, perfect for travel, perfect for local gigs. I use it for both. Um, it just gives me a lot of different flexibility there. Okay, so getting started is going to be my rig. And so if you guys watched my last video, you guys know all about this, but this is kind of my rig setup for the Fujifilm X-H2S. And right now I actually just have a Fujifilm X-T3 in here because I am currently filming on the X-H2S. But um, yes, camera goes in here. Underneath, I usually keep the top handle as well as my um, cables. So this just tucks um, and breaks down really nicely into the bag. Um, if you guys want to see how I built that setup, um, I will link the previous video below in the description and you guys can go check out uh, that rig. And so, yep, keep my camera right here. Um, up in the top here are just batteries. So I've got the batteries for the X-H2S as well as the Fujifilm X-T3. Um, I love to just keep them up here in this top slot. And that is kind of this middle section. Um, from there, we'll move over to the right. And this is the um, main lens that I use. It's the Sigma Art 18 to 35 um, Canon EF mount. Really love this lens. This stays right there. Um, and then really the only other lens that I use is the Sigma Art 24 to 70 uh, with image stabilization. Um, it's an f2.8 and really helps me out when I need a little bit more reach than the 18 to 35. Um, that just lives up here. And then the only other compartment on this side is just my portable battery banks. So you guys probably saw this in my rig video, but these little battery banks for powering my camera live over here. And so next um, is this middle section. So I actually keep my rocket blower along with a multi-tool and then the small rig uh, multi-tool as well, just for anything camera related. And then I do keep some lens wipes tucked down here. So um, this is kind of a nice section because everything fits in here really snugly. Um, these just press in here. So any camera adjustments or any last minute things um, that I need, just go right there. And then right here is where I keep my SD cards. And this is a new one I got from Amazon. It's really cheap, but it actually holds CF Express Type B as well as SD and micro SD. So those were kind of my needs and the case that fit all of those. Um, and then I actually keep a backup of all my footage with me at all times. And so um, this is like a five terabyte um, Western Digital Drive. I have a bunch of these, but I actually keep um, one backup at home um, on my desk. I have my editing drive at home, and then I actually keep a copy of all my footage with me just in case if I was traveling and something happened to my house, I would still have a copy of all my footage. Um, and I usually do a cloud, cloud backup as well, but that just lives right in there. And then I have my monitor. Um, this is the Andy Cine A6 Plus V2. Go check out my rig video if you want to see how this attaches to everything, but um, it just stays with the little mount and it slides right in there. Super nice. Um, 
This top section up here is a little bit of audio gear. So both these top bags are just my Tascam DR10Ls. And so one I'm actually using for this video, but there would usually be two in this bag. Um, and then this bag that's a little bulkier, I actually have the white one along with an extra black lavalier mic, the white microphone, and then I keep like just a variation of windscreens, um, Rycott stickies, anything that I might need to control wind noise stays in this pack with the white one. And so um, put everything back in there. But then the only other thing is in this compartment, this is where I keep in the bottom just all my batteries. And so um, just double A's and triple A's, I have a bunch. My most favorite ones are from Ikea. Um, the Ikea Lada, I really enjoy and have AAA versions as well. And these are rechargeable, hold their charge super well. Um, and that pack lives at the bottom. And I just put my microphones back in there. And so on this left side, it's just a few more things. Um, this is an old Zoom H4n Pro, I'm still hanging on to it. It's great um, whenever I need to record audio, as well as a pair of headphones. And so these are the Mi Audio M6 Pros, and I would highly recommend these if you want something a step up from you know Apple earbuds or um, some cheap headphones. These are really inexpensive, but um, are actually what I use. Um, I'm a musician, I use these a lot as well when I'm playing drums, and um, yeah, they're really high quality, really love them live in this little case. And then a little microphone, the Movo. Um, if you saw my rig video, you saw this. This just lives right up there, along with the little Aperture MC. And so, yeah, love this little light, just a battery powered, um, you know, RGB bicolor light that is used in various scenarios that lives up here. And then this last bag over here is actually just a microphone bag um, and it holds all of my different audio cables and so um, I've got XLR, quarter inch, um, XLR to eighth inch, anything I might need to capture audio either into the Tascam DR10Ls or the Zoom lives in this pouch and it just tufts really nicely um, right over there. Lastly we have the top compartments up here and so this one over here is just gonna hold a random assortment of things. Um, bongo ties, extra cables, a band-aid, Allen keys, um, just odds and ends accessories that I don't really have a place for. And I usually keep a few lens wipes over here as well, along with a Sharpie. And that just stays tucked in over there. This top one up here are some long, um, these are just USB-C cables, there's two of them. Um, and along with some power delivery power bricks. And so I use these a lot on interview shoots when I need to power my camera for quite a bit of time. I'll just go into wall power directly into um, the Fujifilm. And yep, I keep two of them up there, two bricks, and they work really well. Down here, um, I just have a audio extender cable. Let's see if I can get it out. Um, this is a eighth inch audio extension cable. I will use this a lot of times to run a microphone from far away for an interview to direct into my camera. Um, I keep that up there along with a strap. And so this is actually just a bungee cord that I added some little clips to. And this is a perfect little camera strap that is also um, stretchy. So it actually, I think, takes some of the you know, shakes out of your footage um, just because it has a little bit more give than an average camera strap. And so that just lives in there in case I need it for any reason, um, along with this audio cable. All right, and lastly, we've got this far side. Um, up here, I just have a small rig battery charger for the um, batteries for the X-H2S, along with a battery charger for the X-T3 just in case um, I need to charge anything last minute. Goes a little bit there. And then this last pouch is a little, um, I think it's a battery bank case. And this has just kind of all my extra power cables. So 
USB type A and B to C, um, along with extra HDMI, micro USB, just all those odds and ends cables that you sometimes need. I just live in this little pouch. Okay, and so the variation that I make to this case for weddings is actually just move these dividers down a little bit and that allows me to fit um, my Minolta Super 8 camera or whatever Super 8 camera I'm using that day. That lives nice and snug down here and then it gives me room for two cameras. And so at weddings, I'm always bringing two cameras just in case um, I need a backup for whatever reason. And so I've got the X-T3 right here and then a slot for the X-H2S. I'll usually just bring my rig with me in the car uh, we'll have my case and I'll have this and all my small like camera batteries and cables I actually just put in a small fanny pack and so yeah makes transporting it to weddings super easy all I have is this case and my fanny pack and I'm ready to roll and so yeah hope this was helpful to you um, if you guys have any questions about any of this gear let me know down below would love to help and yeah I hope this inspires you as you are building out your kit um, I really enjoy seeing videos like this and how people manage to fit, you know, a lot of different gear into a small um, compact setup. So, yep, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.